Shalom, Yeshua. First and foremost, I'm going to give all praises and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rechah Kodash, double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, peace and blessing to those Le'akim that preach the word in all truth and sincerity, alone to Israel foreign brothers that like the heathens, but the line of outside goes back to nation of Israel, which nation of Israel are you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans through the prophecies and curses of Deuteronomy 28 chapter and throughout the Bible. So this is Brother Yakal Amal for the lesson. And on today's lesson will be entitled, What Does Second Edge of 736 Mean? You know, that's going to go on some precepts in our Lord willing, you brothers and your few sisters out there be edified through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shimon Shai. You know, because, <clears throat> you know, in the scriptures, there are a lot of um, stumbling blocks, you know, because the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Moshe, does want everyone to uh, receive this truth, you know. And, um, you know, that the alphabet movement may think that this scripture is applying to them, you know, but really it's applying to the righteous, you know, and we're going to get into it. So I'm going to read it. Uh, this is uh second edge of seven thirty six, you know. It says, Then said I, Abraham, pray first for the Salamites and Moses for the fathers that sinned in the wilderness. Right. Now we know, according to Leviticus twenty and thirteen, that the Lord hates Salamites, you know, which Salamites are two male, you know, homosexuals. Of course they do, you know, sexual in intercourse, you know. You know, in the um, you know, brothers know, you know, in the, in the A N U S, you know, so this which is wicked wickedness, man, but this is a uh, Leviticus twenty and thirteen says, if a man also lie with mankind, as he lie for uh, with the woman, both of them have committed an abomination, they shall surely be put to death, their blood shall be upon them. Right, so it it clearly states in the law. That if two homosexual males, you know, is having, you know, sex with each other as they will with a woman, as a man would would have with a woman, then they're supposed to be put to death, man. You know, because that's a very, very, you know, grievous sin. A heinous act, man. You know. Now, you know, we're gonna go to the account when cause when you read Genesis eighteen twenty-three. Because this one, the angels have went to Sodom, you know, where um, Abraham's nephew Lot was living. You know, he was living in Sodom, you know, but he wasn't a Sodomite, you know. Which the um, <clears throat> Sodom and Gomorrah, the Sodomites, they were the Canaanites, the so-called Africans today, you know. But um, I'm just going to get straight to the point. This is uh, Genesis 18. In verse 23, it says, And Abraham drew near and said, Will thou also destroy the righteous with the wicked? Peradventure, which means perhaps, there be fifty righteous within the city. Will thou also destroy and not spare the place for the fifty righteous that are therein? Right, so Abraham is pleading with the Lord, saying, Would you destroy the righteous with the wicked? You know, and we read on down, that number became um, slimmer and slimmer, man, because there was only one righteous man in that city, which was Lot, you know, Abraham's nephew, you know, because um, when you go to Genesis 13, because it was, a um, when you read Genesis 13, verse 7, it says, and there was a strife between the herdsmen of Abram's cattle and the herdsmen of Lot's cattle, and the Canaanite and the Perizzite dwelt there in the land. And Abraham said unto Lot, Let there be no strife, I pray thee, between me and thee, and between thy herdmen and thy herdmen, which and between my herdmen and thy herdmen, for we be brethren. Is not the whole land before thee? Separate thyself, I pray thee, for me. If thou wilt take the left hand, then I will go to the right. Or if thou depart to the right hand, then I will go to the left. And Lot lifted up his eyes and beheld all the plain of Jordan, that it was well watered everywhere before the Lord Yahweh destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah, even as the garden garden of the Lord, 
like the land of Egypt as thou um, comest unto Zoar. You know, um, so now verse 12 says, Abram dwelt in the land of Canaan, and Lot dwelt in the seas of the plain, and pitched his tent towards Sodom. So, you know, Abraham, our forefather, he dwelt in the land of Canaan, which later became the land of Israel, and Lot, his nephew, uh, dwelt, you know, in Sodom, you know, which was a, a, a Canaanite city, you know. So, you know, Abraham, he wasn't praying, you know, for the actual Sodomites. He was praying for his nephew Lot and his family, you know, but start on with Lot so they could be delivered, you know, because Abraham knew that the Lord was going to destroy um, Sodom and Gomorrah because they were wicked, man. You know, as it says in Genesis 18, that their sin was uh, very grievous, you know, just trying to find it. Um, the cry is going up. Yep. This is Genesis 18 and 20. It says, And the Lord Yahweh said, Because the cry of Sodom and Gomorrah is great, and because their sin is very grievous, man. You know, so the Lord didn't delight in Sodom and Gomorrah because they were Sodomites and Canaanites. They were homosexuals. You know? And Lot, it talks about just Lot in 2 Peter 2 and 9. You know? Uh, it says, uh, uh, Genesis uh, 6. Second Peter 2 and verse 6, it says, And turn the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah into ashes, condemn them with an overthrow, making them an example unto those at, that after should live ungodly, and deliver just Lot, vexed with the filthy conversation of the wicked, man. So Lot, it says just Lot, just means righteous. And just look it up for edification, you know. So he, righteous Lot, he was living amongst them, them um, Canaanites, some Sodomites, and he was, um, you know, he was angry with them because they were wicked, you know? Second uh, Peter 2, and verse 7. I look at that word just in the Greek. It's from the Greek word diakos, diakos, which means righteous, you know? So Lot, he was a righteous man dwelling amongst the wicked Sodomites. You know, it says, and deliver just Lot, vexed with the filthy conversation of the wicked, the conduct, how they would how they would conduct themselves, you know, being homosexuals. You know, he was vexed with that, vexed with that man. You know, <clears throat> it says, for that righteous man dwelling among them and seeing and hearing, vex his righteous soul from the day to day. With their unlawful deeds, man. You know? So, let's go back to Second Edges 7 and 36. So, this said, I, Abraham, prayed first for the Sodomites. So, now we know what this means. You know? Now, Abraham, he didn't pray for the actual Sodomites. He prayed for the righteous. His, his righteous nephew, Lot, that was living among the Sodomites. You know? It says, and Moses for the fathers that sit in the wilderness. Yeah, because this account that um that Moses he had prayed, you know, during the um we read numbers twenty one. Let me see uh Moses prayed for the people. Yep. This is numbers three one and seven it says um this when the Lord had, you know, commanded Moses to build the um the brazen serpent, you know, and whoever whatever Israelite looked upon it was healed. Um this is Numbers twenty one verse six. And the Lord Yahweh sent fiery serpents among the people, and they bit the people, and much people of Israel died. Therefore the people came to Moses and said, We have sinned, for we have spoken against the Lord Yahweh and against thee. Pray unto the Lord Yahweh that he take away the serpents from us. And Moses prayed for the people. Right. So, you know, Moses, he prayed for the people. That's which were the Israelites that sit in the wilderness. You know, so I'm going to read 2nd Edges 736 again. So then, for, then said, I, Abraham, pray first for the Sodomites. So we know that Abraham prayed for the righteous that was living among the Sodomites, which was his nephew Lot. You know. It says, and Moses for the fathers that sinned in the wilderness. So we read that account in number 21 concerning, you know, when the 
Moses prayed for the Israelites, you know, um, in this account. So, yeah, I can just quick lesson on that. Little women, I was edified. And until next time, shalom.